Hi, hello, welcome to VSTL Basics. Today we are going to discuss about synchronous and asynchronous in digital design. If you haven't subscribed this channel yet, please subscribe this and click the bell icon to get the further update on this channel. First of all, we need to know what is synchronous circuit in digital design and the characteristics of synchronous circuit. Synchronous in context of digital design refers to a design methodology where the operation of digital circuit or system is controlled by a clock signal. In synchronous digital design, all the components of the circuit operates in synchronization with a common clock signal, ensuring that data transfer and operation happens at well-defined and coordinated time intervals. Characteristics of synchronous circuit. So clock signal. A clock signal is periodic waveform that oscillates between high and low voltage at a regular frequency. This clock signal is used as a reference to coordinate the timing of the operation within circuit. Flip-flops or latches. The primary storage element in synchronous circuit are flip-flops or latches. These are memory element that stores binary values and are updated on specific edges of the clock signals. Clock edge triggering. Synchronous circuits typically use either the rising edge or falling edge of the clock signal to trigger the updating of flip-flop values. This edge serves as the Timing reference for transferring data between components. Global timing constraint. Synchronous design requires careful consideration of global timing constraint to ensure that signals arrived at their intended designation within specific time windows. This helps prevent issues such as data corruption or setup or old violation. Pipeline stages. Synchronous design often incorporate pipeline stages where complex operations are divided into smaller sequential steps that occurs within different clock edge, clock cycles. This improves the efficiency, efficiency and allows for higher clock frequencies. Controlled data flow. Synchronous circuits have a controlled and predictable data flow of data due to the synchronous nature of clock driven operation. This predictability simplifies design, verification, and testing. Clock distribution. The distribution of clock signal occurs the circuit becomes important to ensure that all the components receive the clock signal within minimal delay and skew. Synchronous design offers several advantages, including ease of design and simulation and testing. However, it can be challenging to manage timing constraint and clock distribution in large and complex design. Moving to asynchronous design. Asynchronous design in the context of digital design refers to a design methodology where operation of digital circuits or design systems in is not directly tied to a global clock signal. In asynchronous design, components can operate independently and communicate with each other based on the completion of specific tasks or availability of data rather than being synchronized by a common clock signal. The characteristics of asynchronous digital design. No global clock unlike synchronous design which relies on global clock signal to coordinate operation and operations asynchronous circuit operates without a single global clock signal instead they rely on local timing signals and handshaking protocols to manage data transfer and operation independent timing components within a asynchronous circuit can operate at their own independent speed and their interaction are governed by local timing constraint rather than a global clock and checking protocols 
asynchronous circuits use and checking protocols to manage the flow of data between components these protocols ensure that data is valid before transferred and that components are ready to receive or send data ncl null conventional logic asynchronous circuit often used null conventional logic where specific signal state such as 0 1 or x are used to represent different conditions including data validity and readiness data driven operation asynchronous circuits typically rely on availability of data or completion of certain operation to trigger the subsequent action enabling a more flexible and adaptive design reduced power consumption the synchronous design can potentially consume less power than their asynchronous counterpart because components are consume power when active rather than being clocked continuously complexity challenges asynchronous design can be more complex than synchronous design due to the need of handle various timing scenarios and ensure proper synchronization between components design verification also be more challenging potential for reduced timing constraint the asynchronous circuit may have more relaxed timing constraint since they don't rely on single clock edge this can lead to improved performance in certain situation asynchronous design offers advantage in terms of reduced power consumption and potential for better performance in specific scenarios and reduced susceptibility of clock skew issues however it requires careful consideration of timing constraint and checking protocol and potential hazards arising for from the lack of global clock now we can discuss about key difference between asynchronous and synchronous asynchronous and synchronous are two contrasting methodology in digital design that dictate how digital circuits or systems operate with respect to timing and coordination here is a summary of key difference between synchronous and asynchronous design timing and coordination in synchronous design relies on common clock signal to synchronize the operation of all components all actions in circuit occurs in sync with the clock edges either rising or falling in case of asynchronous design doesn't depend on the global clock components operate independently and communicate using local timing signal and and check protocols clock signal in synchronize a clock signal is required and all components are synchronized to its timing no global clock signal is used in asynchronous design components operate based on their local timing timing constraint Asynchron synchronous circuit have strict timing constraint to ensure that signal meets setup and old uh, old times with respect to clock edges asynchronous design timing constraints are more relaxed in asynchronous circuit as component doesn't rely on the global clock edge for synchronization complexity in synchronous design is generally easier to implement and verify due to its well defined timing and synchronization points asynchronous design can be more complex due to the need of need to handle various timing scenarios handshake protocols and potential hazards power consumption synchronous circuit may consume more power since clocked components draw power even during ideal periods asynchronous circuit can potentially consume less power since components only consume power when active data flow data flow is 
driven by clock cycles and components process data based on the clock edges in synchronous, synchronous circuit. Data flow is driven by availability of data or completion of operation enabling for more flexibility and adapt, uh, adapted, adaptive operation in a synchronous circuit. Flexibility and adaptability. Synchronous design may be less adaptable to changing condition due to strict clock driven nature. Asynchronous design offers greater adaptability making it suitable for dynamically changing environment. Application Synchronous circuits widely used in most digital systems, especially, especially those requiring well-defined timing and clock synchronization. In case of asynchronous, used in specific application where buffer efficiency, adaptability or reduced susceptibility to clock related issue are critical. In summary, synchronous design relies on global clock for synchronization and operates according to well-defined clock edges. While asynchronous design allows components to operate independently without a global clock and uses local timing signal and handshaking protocol for coordination. The choice between this methodology depends on factors such as power consumption, performance goals, design complexity and the specific requirement of the application. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you will have an idea of synchronous and asynchronous digital design. Please like and share this video.